Hey everybody, Mr. Quick here. Today we'll be looking at Eureka Math slash Engage New York Math. Uh, module 4, Lesson 15, Reading Expressions in Which Letters Stand for Numbers. Now this is more of a verbal, we're going to read them out loud, but we're also going to write them and go through a couple of examples. So before we do that, let's look at this chart. Now many of these words you've seen before and we use in class, but this is a good chart to kind of show us some of the um, different vocabulary terms you can use for the different kinds of math that we do. So if you're looking at addition, you might say the sum, or add, or three more than five, right? You add those together. The total of three and five. Three and five all together. In all, three increased by five. Three plus five. For subtraction, you might say the difference between 10 and 8. Subtract 8 minus 10, uh, or subtract 8 from 10. 8 fewer than 10, 10 minus 8. Uh, 8 less than 10. How many more are there? How many are left? Uh, 10 decreased by 8. All right, lots of terms there. Multiplication, product, multiply, times, every, double or triple, multiply by 2, multiply by 3, of, like one half of 8, you're multiplying one half times 8, as much in each. Division, the quotient of, uh, divide or divided by, each per or split. Split something in 2, right? You're dividing it in 2. Split it in 3, you're dividing it by 3. And then exponents. With exponents, you might say 5 to the power of 2. You might say 5 squared if it was to the power of 2. You might say 5 cubed, cubed meaning to the power of 3. So we're going to use some of these terms today and look at some problems. Mostly are fairly, they're fairly easy problems, but the big thing is we're going to be using the correct and proper terminology. All right, I still have that up here. I know that may be kind of hard to see, but we're going to write the expression in the words. So it starts off fairly easy. We have a minus b. And you can say that, a minus b. You could say the difference of a and b. You could say a decreased by b. You could say b subtracted from a. Those are different ways to say that, okay? Um, second one here, b. You could say x times y. You could say the product of x and y, x multiplied by y. Right? Different ways of saying that. Put letter C down here. We have 4F plus P. It's a little bit more complicated. You could say P added to the product of 4 and P. You could say 4 times f plus p. You could say the sum of 4 multiplied by f and p. Okay, lots of ways to say that. And then finally, down below here, letter d. We have d minus b cubed. So you could say d, oops, you do that in lowercase, d minus b cubed. You could say the difference of d and the quantity b to the third power. So you d minus b to the third power. Lots of different ways to say it, right? Using these, this correct vocabulary to make sure that we're getting across what we want to get across. Okay, so circle of vocabulary words that can be used to describe a given expression. This first one is kind of hard to see, but it's 6h minus 10. So we do see subtraction here. 6h is multiplication, so we see that. We don't see division, we don't see addition, so there you go. In this next one, it's 5d divided by 6. Well, we do see the product, right? Because 5 times d. We also see a quotient, because the whole thing is a division problem. It's a fraction, so it's a division problem. Okay, let's go back, let's write some more expressions. Here we have 
8 minus, how would we say, 2 times g? We could just say 2 times g. We could have also said 8 minus the product of 2 and g. This next one here, you could say 15 times the sum, since we're adding, of a and c. 15 times the quantity of a increased by c. The product of 15 and the sum of a and c. 15 multiplied by the total of a and c. Lots of different ways to say it. Then here we have, we could say the sum, since they're adding, of m and n divided by 5. That's just one more way of saying that. Okay, so that's all, folks. That's all I have for today in this video. But we will be looking at some more examples of these together and uh, really practicing using that vocabulary to make sure that we get the vocabulary down and use the correct terminology, the correct vocabulary words when we're talking about these problems. Okay, we'll see you soon. We'll see you in class. See you face-to-face. -face. See you when I see you. Thanks for watching.